Hello, this is Richard Ray, your Director of Missions at Tri Rivers Baptist Theory. This is my weekly uh, video report. First, I want to let you know we've been busy preparing uh, for the arrival of the Texas Baptist men as they build the new Boyd Chapel at the Tri Rivers Retreat Center. We're so appreciative that they're coming to do this for us, and they'll start beginning January 14th, a week from today. Now, thank everyone who's already taken on and sponsored a meal to provide to the Texas Baptist men, a lunch meal. We still have two days uh, remaining, so if you'd like to take on that uh, responsibility and that joy of feeding the Texas Baptist men, um, please let me know and we will let you know those two dates that are available. I think it's one day next week and then uh, then we have another day the, the following week while they're here. So uh, be a blessing to them as they are a blessing to us. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, we're also still looking for roofers who'd like to put a metal roof on the on chapel, the retreat center. So if, you, if you'd like to do that and volunteer in that capacity, just let me know and we'll make arrangements to make that happen. So I pray that you can help us in that capacity as well. We've also activated the new Tri-Rivers Domestic Violence Victims hotline it has just gone live and um, our advocates will go into place uh, when the hotline, hotline number rings and they will be contacted we'll minister to those who are hurting and in need and we will be sending out the information the hotline and, and um, to each pastor and the leadership of every uh, church within the Tri-Rivers area the information will also go to our local law enforcement and so just want to let you know to be in prayer for this new ministry that are going to impact those who are going through a very difficult time um, so they can become survivors of this of attack of their life. Uh, we want to minister to those who are hurting, and this is one way we can do that. So I just want to let you know that ministry has been activated, and we do have a hotline for that. We have our advocates in place. But if you'd also like to serve as an advocate, please get in touch with me, and I will visit with you and talk to you, uh, talk to you about that, the new ministry and how you can be a part of that. But definitely be in prayer for our advocates as they begin to serve in this capacity. This past Sunday, I was honored to preach at First Baptist Church Tycho. I appreciate Brother Dace allowing me to preach. And that wonderful congregation had a great time there as he was, on, I believe, on vacation. And so you all be in prayer for that church. Um, this coming Sunday, I'll be at First Baptist Church Gatesville as, uh, uh, preaching for them once again. I always enjoy going there. A great time of worship, a, a great congregation. And uh, you all be in prayer for them as they begin to seek out their next pastor. Um, this month, this entire month, we'll be uh, going to... Um, each of our associational meetings as they gather together to talk about 2019 and be in prayer for that. And um, tonight I'll actually be at Lampasas Baptist Association and, and their leadership and executive board meeting and WMU meeting. It's always good to be with those uh, wonderful folks and um, an and amazing support to Tri Rivers and amazing what they're doing in their own communities to further the kingdom of God. Um, this coming Saturday, Dave Keith. And Vicki Keith will be retiring from Carlton Baptist Church, been there 35 years. So y'all be in prayer for this weekend as they as it'll be their final Sunday. If you can come out Saturday between 2 and 4 and just uh, pray with them, hug them, and just uh, tell them how appreciative you are for their service and faithful service unto the Lord. I know they greatly appreciate that. Um, as I always say, uh, spend some time sharing your story of salvation to someone who needs to hear it. The reason we are here today, the reason Tri Rivers exists, the reason your church exists, the reason you've been called into the ministry is to lead one more soul to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. So take the opportunity that God has given you today and tomorrow and the days to come to share your story of salvation so someone else can have their own story of salvation. Until next week, I want to leave you with the scripture in Hebrews chapter 3, verse 4. It says, For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. Until next week, have a blessed week. Tell someone that Jesus loves them. God bless you.